I not be absolutely filled with joy being here and hearing, meeting all these people and listening to all that wonderful and welcome? I'm happy. I, I, I see a, a little doctor who over there. So, and another one there. Another one over there. Qu quantos who's nós temos hoje aqui? They're all who's. So, let's go with who or let's go with Hobbit first? Who what? Who or Hobbit? Well, it's already answered. See? I think I think I better go for who. Yeah, I guess so. It'd be dangerous not to. Although who? I did Doctor Who 26 years ago. And when I did it, it was one of the greatest jobs on television. But then, um, it was only this year, and last year, and the year before, I did The Hobbit. And that was one of, a great role in cinema. So both are magical, really. I was very lucky to get both jobs. So w when you got to be Doctor Who, uh, it was already big in, in, in Britain, right? Yes. So how, how was it to, to, to get that job by that time? Well, it was a great honor. I mean, many people, you know, about 2,000 people applied for the job. Wow. Including my milkman, the man who delivered my milk. Including your milkman? Yes, I stopped having my milk from him when I got the job. Well, if you did get to the milk, I would be very wary. Yes, I, I stopped drinking milk then. Yeah. But, Have you ever drank milk again? No. It's good for the bones, you know? I know. So, technology, when, when you did Doctor Who, was not like it is today. Today you have like digital and it's easier to, to, to make the, the big spectacle. But, so how was it back in the day when you did it to, 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 to get those fantastic stories, to bring them to life with current technology? Well, it was, you know, when, when they actually set off explosions, they were real. <laughs> it was dangerous. <laughs> and there was one explosion I remember very clearly. It was at the end of the greatest show in the galaxy. And there was a circus tent. And I remember looking in and saying, what are those big round things for? And they said, oh, we're going to blow rubbish out. This was the last shot of the day, the last shot of that story. It could only be done in one go. It had to work. So I walked past the tent when they said action, and suddenly the whole Second World War erupted behind me. There was such an explosion, and I wasn't sure whether I was in fire or not. And my back, I could feel the heat, and I knew I mustn't blink, I must keep walking, because whether or not I'm dead by the end of this walk, they've got to get the shot in the can. And we did, and I didn't burn. Good. So, Doctor Who was already big when it did it, but did you expect that three decades later it would be like this big, even bigger? No. No, not at all, really. I mean, when I did it, um, it was 30 years old when I... I remember we celebrated, I think, the 30th anniversary, or, or the 25th, and then the 30th later. But um, I didn't really think it would go on and on. And yeah, I didn't really... Because it came off for a while, they thought that was the end of it. But when they brought it back with a vengeance, it was great. I mean, I think it's, it's wonderful. It, it's taken off so much all over the world. And people are now going back to the old doctors, the 20th century doctors, and finding, rediscovering us. And that's a joy to be rediscovered and brought, brought forward from the 20th century to time travel into the 21st. There you go. So, do you go around in a TARDIS or, or by, by plane? Um, yes, well, sadly someone else has taken my TARDIS. Aww. Some Scottish fellow. <laughs> so I can forgive him, he's Scottish, I'm Scottish, so he's allowed. So, do you have any, any action figures of yourself? Figures? Action figures. Oh, you? yes, yes. I have. I'm, I'm a Lego man. I've got two Lego. One is um, Radagast the Brown. Okay. 
and the other is Doctor Who. I never thought when I was born, when I was, that I would grow up to be a Lego man. I'm very proud. That, that's a sentence you don't hear every day. I'm proud to be a Lego man. Olá, aqui é o Marcelo Paradela do Filmes e Games. Estamos na Brasil Comic Con e na surdina. Olha pra lá, olha pra lá, olha pra lá. É uma surpresinha pra vocês, meus amigos. Nós vamos falar com o um doutor e com o um mago de The Hobbit. Estamos aqui com Sylvester McCoy, o sétimo doutor. Hello. Hello. Uh, just asking uh, how you felt about the reception of the fans here on the Brazil Comic Con? It was glorious. It was wonderful. It was joyful. It was divine. It was. There aren't enough adjectives to describe it. It was great. Uh, we're from uh, a website called Filmes e Games, Fil Movies and Games, and just we're going to do a, a, a series about Filmes e Games explains. And the first one is Filmes e Games explain Doctor Who. And I just wanted to say hi to all our friends of the website and the fans of the Doctor Who. Hello, hello, fans of the website and Doctor Who. Nice to be talking to you. <laughs> And the last question is, how, what is your favorite movie and what is your favorite game, even if, if it's backgammon? Well, my favorite movie, I don't know, there's loads really, but the one that jumps to mind is uh, Kurosawa's Ran. I love his movies. My favorite Kurosawa too. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, games? What are games? Oh, um, uh, chess. Nice. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you.